Well, hello there. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It's especially for you if you're new to Studio One, new to mixing on a computer, and you're thinking, I've got a vocal, and I want to make one of the words from the chorus have a delay on it, or an echo, you may call it, but I don't want the echo anywhere else. How do I do that? There are a number of ways to do it. I'm going to show you one way, the way that I like to do it. So here is a vocal. This is actually, fun fact, um, a song that I'm working on for my band. It's not mixed yet. This is kind of a rough mix just as we were figuring out production. But I did I did try this delay thing just to think of how I'm going to want the final vocal mix to be. So here's the vocal. And uh, there's a note when I sing I would, I'd like that note to have an echo on it, but only that note. So here's what we got so far. If I So that's the phrase, this right chair, and by the way, it's just it's just zoomed in, it's not clipping. I just like zooming it in. This is the phrase that I would like to be repeated. So first thing we wanna do is just set up a long delay on this entire vocal, and then we'll tell it to only be in certain places. That's the approach. Let's open up our mixer. Currently on this vocal, I've got some plugins that I'm messing around with. It's got a slap back delay already. That's set to stereo slapback, so there's a, it's a slightly different time on each side. Kind of has a cool vibe to it. But I want long delay, so I'm going to be using beat delay for this. So the, the, the way I, nine times out of ten, set up my delays is by putting them on their own effects channel. Then I can send some of this vocal to that specific effects channel. In this instance, it's called long delay. Here are the settings that I like. Whoa, it opened up over here. Okay. If you want to screenshot this, I like these settings a lot for a longer delay. It's a half note delay. It's got a 31% feedback. The ping pong mode is set to two channel and I've got a cross delay and I've got it slightly panned to one side and I've most importantly, I've rolled off below 400 hertz so it doesn't get muddy. So this gives it this night, it's one vocal, but it puts it in the right and then the left or vice versa so that it has this nice kind of stereo sound to it. Here's what that sounds like. Do it again, I want the same rolling in. That's obnoxious. I don't want it on anything else but that one phrase, but that's the sound that I want. Now, how do I tell it to only be on this phrase? Literally, my mind goes through like four or five ways to do that. I'm going to show you the one that I use. So the first thing we do is we what we're going to want to do is automate this send to go on and off in specific places. How do we do that? The send, this is it right here. And this is called the send mute power off and on. We just need to right click on that and choose edit automation send mute. And when we click that, our vocal track will change. Let's make some space so we can see it. So the vocal looks different, okay? It now has this yellow line at the bottom, and that is the automation for the long delay. And if we just click it on and off, we can see that it goes from being, let me resize this. We can see it goes from being at the top and the bottom. So when it's on, it's at the bottom, and when it's off, it's at the top. Honestly, that feels backwards to me because when I flip a light switch, I want it off at the bottom. Anyway, it's binary. It's either one or the other, on, off, on, off. So we could do that globally on the entire song, but that's not what we want. I want it off for most of the song and on for this specific note. We already said we want it to be Again. right here. That's the phrase we want. So all I do is I just select here. Now it's selected. And I just hover my mouse over the top side and drag this down. And what it does, it creates, basically, it's it's like a, it's a literal automation that says, all right, turn it on here, turn it off there. And here's what ends up happening. If I had to do it again, I would walk the same road. So the, the I would gets repeated, and it can repeat as many times as we want. We could adjust the feedback setting to make it feedback even more if we want. But then that's the only phrase that happens. And now that we have this set up, we can just come over here and say there's another one right there. 
we can very quickly just come in and say, I want you and you, and let you can change your mind later. You can say, you know what, I want a few more words to be delayed, or I want this one word in the verse to be delayed. And it's all just waiting there for you to automate it. This is called automation. Automation can be volume automation where you automate the fader to move up and down, but you can automate just about anything. Plug-in settings, turning things like sends on and off, the send level you could automate on and off. You could automate the send level to go up and down in, in certain sections if you wanted. You could automate, you could leave the delay on at all times and automate the volume of the actual delay fader here to go up and down. That's what a lot of live sound guys do. They leave it on and they just fade it in when they want it. That's an option as well. I like this approach because it's nice and clean. I can visually see what's happening. And then when you don't want to see the automation anymore, just press A on your keyboard and it goes back to, there we go. It toggles back to just the normal view and you press A again and it shows automation whenever any channels have automation so you can quickly see what's happening. All right, that is how to get delay on a single plugin. By the way, that works on any kind of send effect, reverb, delay, a distortion. I mean, you could send to anything that you want to. Now you know how to automate it on and off at your leisure. Thanks for watching. See ya.